My name is Adrian Bullier. I work for EASME. You heard everything about EASME this morning, I think. But just to recall, we're, we're managing the energy efficiency part of Horizon 2020, which means we're funding a lot of projects on project development assistance, um, but also working with the private sector, developing innovative financing schemes, developing energy performance contracting. There are leaflets on our funding opportunities um, at the entrance, so don't hesitate to grab one. And specifically on uh, housing, we're organizing a webinar next week on the 27th on uh, housing renovation from the user perspective with a lot of uh, great uh, insights on how to set up um, home renovation services. Um, for this last session today, we've got with us um, Alice Morcret from uh, the regional uh, from the regional council of um, of Picardy, who, which set up a public service for energy efficiency. Um, so she's going to tell us what this public service is about. And just to mention, this project has been funded and is still funded, I think, under Elena. So um, where the EIB is giving uh, European grants money to subsidize all the efforts needed to develop a pipeline of projects. And a lot of the projects you have seen today are about developing investment, investment pipelines. Um, I think this is a particularly innovative and successful project, and it's not easy to be both. Uh, but I think they've really succeeded in doing that. So, Alice, um, the floor is yours for half an hour, and then uh, we'll have questions and answers. And um, please go ahead. Thanks, Adrien. Uh, so I'm very pleased to, uh, to be here today to present you effectively the experiments we have done in Picardy. Uh, first, a uh, little bit, but rapidly on the context. Um, the idea of the setup of the service public comes from the, uh, the objective that was established for uh, the regional scheme for climate and, and energy for 2020 that ask us uh, for the whole Picardy to renovate 18,000 private homes per year uh, at quite a low level in terms of consumption. So for sure, okay. <laughs> Um, so, for sure, uh, our objectives is not to completely uh, take in charge this whole uh, objective, but only a part of it, and to be a front runner to uh, start something. Uh, the market exists in France. Here are the figures for the whole France of uh, renovations in number of renovations compared to uh, the level of the uh, performance. So low level performance, high level performance. You can see that we make a lot of renovations but are very low level and the idea is that we need to change this, uh, these figures and to uh, bring these projects to come until a high performance one. The barriers are quite well known. We have already uh, discussed that uh, this afternoon in a lot of uh, projects. Uh, the cost, first, is very high. Secondly, uh, people do not make renovation only for energy efficiency, but for other reasons. They want a larger house, they have a baby or more comfort. Uh, and after, a third thing very much more important is that uh, Make works at home is complicated. Uh, it needs some. Uh, it means some uh, dust, uh, noise, a lot of people at home, uh, and a lot of disturbances. And um, uh, they have a lack of confidence between the quality of the works that they will done, uh, and uh, also on the um, the, the objective that uh, to be to be reached. This is some figures about uh, the stock, the houses stocks in Picardy. So 65% of these houses are uh, private homeowners. 74% uh, are, sing are single homes, uh, and that, needs, that means uh, quite a huge uh, building stock, stocks uh, constructed before, oh, sorry, constructed before 1975, so before any regulations in terms of insulation, so poor insulated houses. This is why uh, the first uh, target of uh, the experiment was the single homes. You'll see that during the project, we were asked also to work with condominiums. So now the service is completely uh, including uh, single homes and condominiums also. 
The service has been set up uh, in 2014 after two or three years uh, of pre-project to uh, completely uh, uh, launch the, the things. And it's really a uh, one-stop shop that needs to, uh, the, for the, the objective is to uh, support the, the people in Picardy uh, for their project uh, renovations either for technical support but also for financial support for their whole uh, project. The only conditions is that the home needs to be in Picardy for sure and the renovation works needs to generate 40% of energy savings to reach quite higher level of um, performance. Three main needs were identified. First, the, first this uh, one-stop shop needs to be uh, uh, driven by uh, a, a guy, which is a, a guy or a woman sometimes, uh, <laughs> who will be the main contact of the families during the whole uh, project from the beginning until, uh, until the, the end. This technician must be a, a technical people to be able to, uh, to explain uh, the works, the objectives, and how we uh, propose, the, we, 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 we make the project. But it also uh, needs to have some uh, social competencies to take into account the resources of the families, uh, the way they will use the house after, to be sure that uh, the project will be um, uh, successful. After the second needs uh, to uh, manage to reduce the financial impact of these uh, works uh, was to say that uh, effectively these works uh, will um, make some uh, financial savings for the families and these uh, savings must be taken into account clearly in the budget. So this is why uh, we, uh, we clearly take these uh, financial savings as resources for the, for the people. And third, third point, uh, the professional sector must be support also because uh, in France we have a lot of uh, very small companies working in that sector uh, that are not able to take, into, uh, take in charge very big projects uh, with a lot of um, with a global project that needs uh, uh, specific organizations, spe specific works together and so on. The idea was finally to ask for a uh, Elena project was to stop to consider all these uh, projects as uh, 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 small projects. So because if we uh, speak about one renovation, the cost is not so high and the, uh, the, the benefits are also uh, not so high. But as soon as we aggregate all these projects, the figures begins to be interesting for investors and uh, authorities with quite high amount of money that needs to be invested and figures uh, in terms of CO2 emissions and uh, energy consumption, that begins to be interesting. That was how we, uh, we fixed the ELENA uh, project uh, for, with the 2,000 housing as a minimum uh, in the objectives. So you can, 2,000 uh, homes. Uh, at the beginning, it was a project that needs to, uh, to stand for three years, but we have one year delay uh, because it was uh, much more difficult to uh, reach the objectives in, uh, in three years. So thanks to, uh, to, uh, to Europe who accept uh, to, uh, to delay from one year. The financial framework, so f to renovate uh, 200 projects we need, we calculated that we need approximately 50, 55 million euros, uh, 45 million for the works, and nine, uh, nine million for the service activity, internal staff, and so on. We receive an initial provision by the Picardy Regional Council. So really, the region was the developer who, uh, who, who put a lot of money on the table to start the activity. For sure, the technical assistance for Elena 1.8 uh, million euros who pay for the staff cost mainly. And after, uh, so we have a fee, you, you will see that after, so we are paid for our service and we valued the energy saving certificates. And for all the investment for the works, we have a loan uh, with the EIB, that is close to the Elena project, uh, so about uh, 35 uh, euros million. How it works quite rapidly. So uh, 
uh, owner. Uh, there are quite uh, numerous in Picardy that uh, live in a very uh, bad, uh, bad houses uh, with uh, low comfort, with very high energy bill. Uh, when they contact us, the renovation technicians come, visit the house, make a thermal audit, a complete thermal audit, but also a social audit on the resources, the budget, the needs of the family. And with all that data, he propose uh, to the people an adapted program that answer to the needs of the family and generate 40, at least 40% of savings. Uh, if the family accept to uh, go uh, in, the, in the project and to start the works, we sign a contract with the family. Uh, they need to, uh, to pay a fee for the, the, the wall service that is around 180, eight uh, 1,800 uh, euros. Um, that will uh, allow us to uh, make the wall project. At that time, we uh, have the delegation of the, uh, the project uh, by the owners. So we select the professionals, we contract, uh, we sign the contract with the professionals, we make them works, uh, ma make the works uh, made, and uh, we finalize all the works by ourselves. At that time, the, the, the families do not um, spend any money, uh, only uh, the, the fee they have to pay to us. Finally, they have a house that is uh, much more comfortable, and with the same amount of money, they can pay the energy bill that has uh, drastically reduced, and they can pay back for uh, the, the works that we have done. We arrange for them a quite specific loan until 20, 25 years at quite low rate, so that this uh, 100 20 euros a year uh, can uh, be uh, can reimburse the loans uh, for, for them. In case of subsidies, because a, a lot of persons can have subsidies, we make the advance of the subsidies. So <clears throat> we can take them into account directly in the budget, uh, and uh, we collect it at the end when uh, we receive it. So it can be dedu deducted directly from the loans. For sure, again, uh, thanks to the EIB uh, to uh, in invest in our project and we can reimburse them after. The idea is that we never speak about payback with the families. We just say that with the same amount of money after, uh, before and after the project, you will have a better homes, much more comfortable, more valuable, and you will uh, not uh, spend more, more money. The project follow-up uh, during all the phases is really important. Uh, this is the technical project follow-up. Before the project, what is important is the quality of the works program that, that we design to be sure that effectively the energy savings uh, will, be, uh, will be possible. So it's not conventional energy audit that we do, but, but, that we, do, but we, we really take into account the real use of the houses to, uh, to uh, calculate the possible energy savings. And we try to design programs that, w that are compatible with future improvements. With 40%, we do not reach a very low level uh, of, uh, for, for the project, but uh, we know that uh, in the future, if they need to do something else due to regulation, new regulations or something like that, uh, it must be possible for them. During the works also, uh, the follow-up is very important. So uh, the, uh, we, we go uh, quite regularly on the works to check the quality of the works done and to also adapt the financial proposal because in a lot of cases there are uh, additional works that needs to be done because for very old houses it's really, really difficult to uh, foresee at the beginning what will be exactly uh, the works done at home. So that needs to be uh, uh, something that is a uh, think about. Uh, all the professional that we, uh, we select must be qualified for sure, to be sure that uh, they are able to, uh, to work with the quality. But even if they are qualified, we support them a lot with a lot of communication tools for them to be sure that uh, the work that they will do will be done properly. And 
in the last phase of the project, so after the works, uh, we continue the follow-up during five years with the families to be sure that uh, effectively the, uh, the house is properly used, the equipments are properly used, uh, the energy consumption objectives is obtained. So we make some uh, either uh, some uh, works about the um, on the invoices to check that effectively we, we receive the savings and sometimes uh, for approximately 50% of the families that accept we can. Um, equipped themselves with monitoring <coughs> system at home to measure temperature, humidity, electricity, and gas consumption to have very accurate uh, data for uh, after, the, after the works. So this is really a technical follow-up during five years that is quite important to uh, guarantee that uh, we'll, have the, uh, we'll obtain <coughs> the objective, even if in our contract, we, will, we do not guarantee uh, the savings. We just, it's just a, a promise that we make to the, to the people. On the other hand, there is also, oh, sorry, oops. Also, uh, the financial support that is quite uh, interesting and that comes completely with the technical support. So we advance the whole budget, the works plus part of the fee if necessary. But the only thing that they need to uh, advance could be only 300 euros before the, the works are done. We collect the subsidies to be sure that the budget will be uh, low. Uh, and the owner starts to reimburse only at the end of the works. So as I said before, until 25 years for the insulation part. Uh, it could be between 15 and 25 years. And the rate today is at 2.5% euro. <coughs> uh, at a more uh, higher level, uh, we also uh, work a lot with the local authorities to help them to put in place a real um, uh, renovation policy on their territory. So we help them, we help them for detecting the potential beneficiaries to um, we deploy some support to uh, to communicate and to 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 look for these beneficiaries, and we work a lot on the mobilization of local local companies and craftsmen. For the local authorities, it's really important to involve local small companies to keep employment and to keep business on the territories. Today, we work with. 39 local authorities, and with 11 of, the, of them, we have specific convention, either for communication on the project, or uh, they take directly in charge part of the fee for the beneficiary, for the people. Concerning the results, so uh, since uh, half of uh, 2014, we have been contacted by <coughs> approximately 500 5,500 uh, persons that ask for information and to uh, <clears throat> for evaluations. 50% uh, of them receive a thermal audit and a complete uh, complete program uh, to, uh, to th that have been proposed to them. 1,488 <clears throat> 1, uh, are the planned renovations today. So 10 condominiums for a little bit uh, more than 1,000 apartments and something like 400 um, single homes that uh, make around 35 million euros in terms of uh, investment works. Over these uh, more than 100 uh, planned renovations, 655 projects were completely finished today. The average financial package is that <clears throat> we have 13% of subsidies, 17% of self-financing, and 70% of third-party financing. And we have signed loans with 500 people for seven, uh, 16 million euros. You have here the figures for <clears throat> the different types of uh, homes, so for single homes and condominiums the number of loans that have been signed, the average cost of the project, and the average loan amount. For the single homes, these 32 kilo euros 
for our loans uh, means 150, yes, <laughs> 150 euros per month to reimburse uh, for the for the loan. How much? 150. And today, something that is quite interesting that we have no doubtful debts, so we had sometimes some. Time, some and payment, uh, but it's only one month, and it's solved during the month. <coughs> I will not enter into detail on that, but what is important is to see uh, the credit scoring method that we put in place, which is not the same that is used by the bank. First, we take into account the monthly saving. After we, uh, we calculate the rest of life of the families, taking into account the resources and all the current, recurrent financial costs. And <clears throat> we, we finally, we, for all the, for, um, we, we, we calculate the real rest to life after the works, taking into account the monthly saving and the monthly loan payments. It gives different categories of people. The green ones are the, the project where the risk is very low, so we can uh, make the loan quite easily without any um, issues. Because generally, the monthly savings are very high, so it will, be, uh, it will cover completely the monthly loan payments, or because the resources are really, really high. <clears throat> the other score, the orange one, are the ones where uh, the monthly saving is not uh, is not enough to uh, to have a rest to life uh, enough compared to the composition of the family. So the risk is a little bit higher, but still uh, it's uh, possible to um, to make the loan uh, with uh, without any big problems. The much more difficulties comes when we are in a red uh, category because even if we, have, we take into account the monthly saving. For these families, we know that the rest to life is low compared to uh, the, the family composition. So uh, it means that uh, there are people in real difficult financial difficulties. But even for these people, sometimes we uh, accept to give them the loan because uh, with the monthly savings, we know that the, the situation will be better after than before. Even if it's still difficult, it's better than before. And what is interesting, that on the three persons uh, for which we had uh, one month's default payment, uh, it was never a red case. It was a, a green one that was not possible to say at the beginning that they will have difficulties uh, to, to pay. In terms of um, <clears throat> energy consumption, so this is the theoretical calculation. So before the works, we have a mean value in the label E, and after the works, we go to the C, uh, to a C label in average. So 54% in terms of uh, uh, theoretical savings. On the 61st uh, projects that uh, have been ended uh, more than one year before, uh, we measure completely uh, the results and we obtain 45%, between 45 and 48%, so we are not far from what we, are, uh, what we have as an objective. 20% of the project reach low energy renovation standard in France, so uh, have quite uh, good, uh, very good performances. And what is important is that this 54% um, in terms of energy savings uh, represents 60% of the monthly payments of the loans uh, paid directly by the savings for the 60% for which the risk is very low. Some <clears throat> figures just to show you the type of houses we have in Picardy. And some feedbacks. Um, first, on the age, you see that we uh, <clears throat> a lot, uh, a large, uh, different people access to, uh, to, to the service. Uh, very young one, when they first access to the to they just become owners. They, this is the, the time when they can also make some, some works uh, after no specific, no big specificity, except for this one, 
So a lot of people that are more than six, 70 years come to, the, come to, to, to see us because uh, they do not have any financial sol solution with the bank. Because they are too old, there are LC issue, a lot of guarantee that are demanded by the bank and uh, no solution for them. <coughs> Our solution, but very expensive. And for us, even if we, 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 we propose a 25 years loan uh, for elderly people, it's possible. No problem for us. Uh, we, we start the loan, and as soon as, uh, unfortunately, they will die, uh, we will recover the capital, either uh, if the family sell the, sell the houses, uh, either the, um, the uh, les enfants, the children uh, take the <laughs> take the loan by themselves. In terms of resources, uh, we are 45% of the persons who make a loan uh, that have resources below the uh, national agency of uh, uh, of um, habitat in in France. Um, so that uh, it's people that uh, receive subsidies uh, for, to make the, the projects. And for 4 million uh, euros of subsidies were pre-funded by, uh, by the service during this, uh, these three years. Uh, just to have in mind, in fact, in France, it's 40% of the populations that uh, could receive, uh, that are below this, uh, these limits. So uh, it's not, uh, not really a surprise. The learnings. Uh, first, uh, people appreciate a lot the technical support. Uh, I said that before that uh, they are, um, it's very difficult for them to, um, to accept to make works. Uh, and effectively, uh, when we are here, as soon as there is some conflicts during the, during the works, uh, it's a, a big, a good thing to have uh, somebody with a, trust, a third trust party that can solve the, 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 the difficulties with the owners, the building companies, and, and so on. We have a lot of very old buildings uh, in Picardy that are really difficult to renovate. Uh, we have few uh, specialist companies, and the costs are very difficult to estimate. So this is one point that probably we underestimate, and we need to work a little bit more to, uh, to be sure to, to, to find the proper uh, technical solution for them. And we also underestimate the need for non-technical support uh, for the owners, but also for the companies uh, to manage the administrative part of the project that is quite uh, important for them. The works in occupied site also are really difficult to manage. In 99% uh, of our project, uh, the works are done uh, when the people are at home, so a little bit difficult to, to manage. And a lot of, uh, a lot of um, actors interact be during the project, and everybody needs to find which, what are the role of, uh, and what they need to do to, uh, to go in the same direction and to make it successfully. I will pass this one. Uh, just <clears throat> uh, this is the number of companies that are uh, now in the um, in our database, uh, register in our, on, in our database, so wish to work with us. We already signed contracts with approximately 300 of them, and all, a large part of them, 78%, are very small companies, and 95% 95, 95 of them comes from uh, Picardy region, so very local companies. Some more general considerations to, to finish. Uh, first, effectively, why do we need a one-stop shop? Even today, there are a lot of actors uh, giving, that give some information about uh, renovations, institutions, associations, information desk, professionals, and sometimes uh, different answers can be obtained for the same questions uh, for the people. So this is why we say that it's uh, important that they have an entry point to have the questions and to know at who, who is the good person to answer them. 
Second point, uh, we are a uh, recurrent change in uh, regulations in France, either uh, technical regulations, but also uh, tax credits, subsidies, uh, policy, and so on. Uh, the renovation projects are uh, long projects, more than one year, and if the regulation change each each year, it's very difficult to uh, to be sure at the beginning of what will be the needed budget for the project. So it's really important to have a stable <coughs> uh, regulatory environment. Third, even if we have some results. We make a lot of uh, projects. The keys for the massifications are still not completely uh, found. Uh, we still need to work about key messages, the good communications tools. Is it an internet site today? Is it a uh, pop-up centers? Is it mobile stop shore that could be uh, everywhere? Uh, this is something that we need to effectively uh, uh, find the good tools and, and the good messages to pass. We are working on the AAA Interreg project with uh, nine other uh, partners in Europe, uh, and that project is uh, completely on uh, what are the good communication tools and good key messages uh, to, uh, to push for uh, global renovation. <coughs> <clears throat> also, uh, some word about this debt. So I said that we have a loan with the EIB of 35 million euros. This, the risk on this debt is taken only by the regional council, and it's a big risk for them. So this is one of the reasons uh, for, for what we, we do not know what will be uh, the future of the, uh, of the service, because at the end of the experimentations, we need to take a decision if we continue or not. Uh, for the moment, we don't know due to this, the risk on the, on the debt. So uh, in France, there is, uh, for the moment, some... Um, discussion about the creation of a guarantee fund specific for the uh, energy renovations that uh, will need to, uh, uh, to guarantee this third party financing. Uh, after we worked on the statistics on this financial risk, but for the moment with only 500 projects, we do not have any, uh, enough statistics to be uh, very, really valuable, and we need to link the risk to the energy savings and the works quality. So there is a lot of other works to do to uh, complete these statistics. And when we will have very valuable statistics, uh, we will ask from banks to, uh, to uh, propose an adequate answers for, the, for these uh, situations. We think that if the banks take into account the energy savings and uh, propose uh, long-term loans, uh, a large uh, number of people that access today to renovation thanks to the third-party financing could do the same, but directly with the bank, and it will be uh, for us easier to treat because the third-party financing budget will reduce. And finally, just to conclude, uh, in fact, uh, the... Uh, to, to push the market and to develop the market, it's really uh, an issue of trust and confidence between the owners and all the actors. Uh, and to have, um, as in our case, a public service that uh, is an authority uh, and represents uh, the, the regional council, is really easier to, uh, to, to find this trust and confidence environment uh, to be uh, uh, in comfort during the, the whole project. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Alice. Can you, yes. can you please say your name? Yeah. Good afternoon, uh, Thomas Novak. Yeah. Thomas Novak from the European Heat Pump Association. Uh, with regards to the statistics, um, you said that you're collecting more data. Do you have any information about the typical type of solution that is done under these renovation schemes? Yes. And, uh, and also, maybe a more demanding question, why only 40% and not more as the minimum requirement? Mm. Thank you. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> first, effectively, uh, I forget to, to say that uh, in the work program, we uh, really try to focus first on the envelope. So, uh, for all the projects, we have walls insulation, plus sometimes roof insulation if it's not done for the moment. 
uh, windows in a lot of cases, 80% of the, of the project we change the windows. And sometimes uh, we uh, also work on the equipments, eating equipments, but only sometimes because in a large case uh, they, they works, there are no problems, and we just check that uh, the, um, uh, the power of the equipments uh, should be reduced in the future when they will change it, uh, but it's not uh, necessary to change them when, when they are not old enough. And the second one... <laughs> Yes. I don't know. <laughs> in fact, we, uh, we had some other um, experience in France uh, before, uh, before we launched the experimentations that ask for very uh, efficient renovations, uh, BBC, so low-level renovations, uh, but they stay uh, at a very low number of projects done, in fact, because it's too, uh, a little bit too ambitious and a little bit too difficult due to budget uh, for a large uh, number of families. So the idea was we need to reach 40% uh, at the end in average for the whole, uh, the whole territory. So try to make 40% each time we make a renovation and in average we will reach if we manage to uh, make all the renovation that we, uh, that we need, uh, we'll manage to make 40%. Hello again, my name is Radva Montano, I'm coming from Bucharest, District one, City Hall of uh, District 1. Uh, my question is if the um, design of the project is covered by Elena or it's uh, supported from different uh, sources. So, we have effectively, I uh, go quite rapidly, but uh, we have effectively an Elena project for 1.8 million, but we have also other type of subsidies coming from uh, national uh, subsidies in France from ADEM, uh, French, uh, on, uh, mm? yes. <laughs> French Agency for Energy. Um, uh, so FEDER also, for other type of uh, or small uh, subsidies. Mm. So it's not paid by the, the owners? <coughs> Oh, no, 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 sorry, uh, the, the owners paid for the works, yes. Uh, Elena and uh, the subsidies are only for the staff cost of the service. And the design, the project? The design, yes. The design, in fact, um, uh, it's effectively, it's free for everybody. So all the people who contact us, and for which we said effectively there is a potential, we make the, 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 the audit and we propose uh, work programs. Yes, partly, uh, by all the subsidies we received, okay. effectively. Okay. Mm -hmm. so and, and we have made an inquiry after the, afterwards to see uh, the people who do not sign with us to make the, the works, what they do with this thermal audit they receive, and 40% of them uh, make some works afterwards. Uh, sometimes they do it step by step, uh, sometimes they do it alone, but the whole program, uh, but even if it's not, we do not accompany them, uh, we have been, uh, some, uh, we, we have uh, helped them to, uh, to schedule their future works. And, and I think it's quite interesting, I was making the math while Alice was, uh, was speaking, but it's about 64% of the audits that result in people committing to make works. Which yeah. is a very high transformation rate, I have to say. You know, usually, it's more around ten or less. Okay. So this is this is actually very high. Yes, it's due to the condominiums because. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's yes, yeah. in average, yes. Mihai, um, okay. Mihai same Romania. Um, you said in some of the previous slides, four point two million from white certificates that you are 1.2 million euro yeah. from uh, white certificates. Those white certificates will be cashed in by you or by beneficiary? No, by us. Mm -hmm. By us. Yes. So basically mm -hmm. this is ending up to the total value of the program, meaning also the services included mm -hmm. to build the project. Yeah. In fact, uh, so the fee, I said it's one, uh, 1,800, mm -hmm. uh, but the real cost of the whole project is around two, uh, 2,500 uh, to uh, 3,000, in fact. 
and the certificates uh, covered this difference. And the second question, you said that you have a follow-up system related with the five-year period of time. That means also it's correlated this five-year period of follow-up with the guarantee period of the works from the constructor of five years or no, there is no link with the... In fact, for the works, we have a one-year period during which, at the end of the reception of the works, uh, we can ask the, the craftsmen to uh, come back and to, uh, to solve some uh, small situations. And we have a 10-year period for guarantee of the works. Ten and we year. are just yeah, 10 years for main, uh, main works. Uh, but we are just in the middle. Five years, we say it's a good... Uh, uh, a good durations to be sure that the energy savings are stable uh, and it's not too long. It's difficult to uh, to uh, to be sure that we will have the possibility to stay more than five years uh, to be make the follow up because uh, as soon as we have more projects, we have more follow up to do. And <laughs> so for ten years, it will be too long. Mm. And basically, when you are asking for ten year guarantee. Mm for the constructor, basically. It's the basic insurance uh, for the works. Yeah, it's mm. the standard in France yeah. for any mm. kind of works you have. Then yeah. this guarantee, yeah. Yeah. And you it's are an releasing, system. it's mm. based on insurance, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's not a guarantee by oh. the constructor. Mm -hmm. OK. Yeah. It's, it's, OK. Yeah. OK, gotcha. Thanks. There is also one at the end. Uh, two tiny questions. The first one is, what's the name of the system or the company you have chosen for ma to make the monitoring of the consumption? Uh, we, we work with the French company, which is called EcoCO2, uh, which has designed first a system for an experiment that uh, stand for uh, between uh, 2014 and 2015. In this experiment, they equipped approximately 4,000 people in, in France, in general, to make some experiments, and we just follow them, so eco co 2 And the second is just, you mentioned uh, the case, in the case of the death of yeah. uh, the old people, mm. uh, it was possible for the kids to take back the loan? Yeah. If they keep the, the, the house. house. Yeah. Is it possible to, if, if people are selling the house, is it still possible to do the same? Um, we, we prefer that if they sell a house, mm -hmm. uh, we cover back the capital. Okay, so yeah. there's no transfer from no. the... Okay, so. thank, you. thank you. Gentleman at the back there. And the second gentleman in the back there. Thank you. And, and we're going to take one more question after that. So. Perfect. I'll be very quick. <laughs> My name is Michael Pomrin from Hamburg, uh, working for Shell. Do you know uh, the split of primary energy source used in those projects and those households? Whether it be electric, I whether it be gas? I don't have it in mind, but uh, probably uh, it could be something like between uh, 60 and 70 percent of gas. Mm -hmm. But I'm not, gas or fuel, uh, but I'm not sure. Yes. After uh, uh, some parts of the project are with a wooden heating system, uh, and few of them uh, with completely electric. Uh, see. Thank you. Javier Ordañez from the Extremadura Energy Agency in Spain. I don't know if we can answer this question, but uh, you already mentioned about the third party financing. Um, I remember um, uh, your project also uh, already speaking about uh, trying to get some uh, national or local bank to combine the, the financing from the EAB with the, with the private banking. And uh, I, I was just uh, willing to know if you can <coughs> provide some uh, main barriers you are finding uh, in this uh, negotiation with the local banks. Uh, maybe it's related with the uh, EIB combination with the uh, private banking, or maybe about the, the scoring of the risk that you already saw. Um, if you have some, some answers, good. Thank you. No, the, the, the problem of the bank today is that uh, they, they do not consider that the energy savings are a resource for the family. Uh, so this is the first thing. So uh, as we do not guarantee uh, the energy savings, uh, they do not take it into account first. Uh, and uh, long duration uh, loans are not a standard um, solution for them. So it's really, they, 
we will ask them to go very far further or what they used to do, in fact. And this is the main problem. But in the last discussion we had with them uh, is that <coughs> if effectively a service like us can make a, a kind of guarantee on the work quality, on the uh, energy savings that are um, collected, probably they can uh, design a proper solution that will be, uh, will be um, uh, a good solution for the, this type of project. But okay, we've got time for one more question. Yes, please. Natalia Tarasova, Pressure Region. Uh, regarding the region itself, Picardia, so you took the loan from the EIB. Uh, it means that it appears in your budget as a debt. For yeah. how long? How many years? Uh, 22 years at the maximum, I guess. At the yes, maximum. 22 years. Yeah, mm. so if uh, you would like to get more loans, it considers your region to be in debt uh, yeah. mm. because of that. Um, the second question would be, uh, could you as a region, because you are not the owner of the, uh, the homes, yeah. there by law there is no inter, um, I would say, barrier that uh, you could take over as a third party of somebody's ownership, because I come from Slovakia, and if the region would decide to do this kind of activity, we would not be allowed actually. Mm -hmm. uh, contract with the homeowners uh, so that they delegate us uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, the possibility to, to make that. Mm. Oh, okay. And so you, with each uh, home you yes. have contract as mm. a region? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And how many people work on that one? Yeah, that's what it was the uh, last we question. are uh, 12 people internally in the service, but we have also <coughs> subcontractors that work for us uh, and uh, for the, the technical parts, uh, and it's uh, 20 persons outside of the, of the company that works for us. Mm. Thank you very much. Can I add something for that idea? Let's say it's half a question. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is that you need some national regulations to be put it in place, because as a public authority, you're not allowed to put money on a mm. private um, asset. So basically, when you are doing that, you need a specific, and it's a very small legislation in the public finance, in order to have a third party contribution. And that is very, and usually around the, all the Europe, all the uh, other countries have been made that change to make possible in that direct. Uh, the public authorities to intervene and to help. Yeah, there was a specific re regulations in France that uh, allows that. Mm. Okay, I mean, I think on the topic of national regulations and this kind of scheme, I mean, there's been a very long discussion in France on how this could be put in place. Mm. Alice could tell you more about this, but we're going to run over time. Mm. Um, so I, I would like to give a round of applause for Alice, who made a great presentation of this week. From my point of view, I must say this is really a very interesting presentation yes. uh, because it encompasses everything that you need as a homeowner. You know, I, I could see myself going with this guy's renovating your home is already a nightmare, energy <laughs> renovation even more. <coughs> You know, with these guys, you, you can you, you can do it and not divorce. So uh, <laughs> I would encourage you to do it. Um, so the show is going on now in the plenary session. We've got a concluding plenary um, in the ballroom in the ground floor. So I would invite you to join that. Um, all presentations will be made available very shortly on our website. You may have seen this. This was even filmed. So if you want to capture everything that was said, you will have access to recordings of this session. It might take one or two weeks, but you know, in the future you will have it. Um, and once again, if you're interested in replicating experiences like this, um, our role is to provide funding for people with great ideas who want to implement them on the ground. Funding opportunities, you will find information at the entrance and everywhere, and just Google Energy Efficiency Horizon 2020, or ask me or one of my colleagues. We're happy to help you. Um, and without further ado, I wish you a nice um, end of the conference and evening. <laughs>